Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Adjective Phrase 32. The adjective phrase today is high and dry. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. If someone is in a high or dry position, or left high and dry, yeah, uh, left is uh, to leave someone high and dry is probably the most common verb we use with it, if we kind of turn it into almost like an idiom, to leave someone high and dry. But high and dry is an adjective phrase by itself. It can be used with other verbs too. Uh, okay, so live high and dry. He or she is stranded or unsupported uh, or left in a situation which has little or no chance of improving uh, from something. Then we could say, you know, somebody was left high and dry or somebody is in sort of a high and dry situation. Okay, good. Let's continue. Uh, the origin of the phrase goes back to the late 1700s, early 1800s, around that time. Uh, to refer to a ship that ran aground. Yeah, you know when a ship goes too far in and it gets stuck uh, in the water, gets stuck in a sandbank or something like that, and it can't get out or got it maybe got damaged along some rocks that are near the coast, it ran aground and it ends up stranded or stuck there. I ran aground or was in a dry dock, which of course implies that it is stuck or stranded. So this is the idea, this is the origin of where the phrase came from. All right, let's look, we got three examples here. Example number one, uh, he walked out the door one day and left his wife completely high and dry to take care of six children without an income. Yeah, so in this case, he probably even he didn't give her a warning, just disappeared one day, just left, just up and abandoned. Uh, so really leaving her high and dry. Okay, let's look at number two here. Uh, she just kicked me out of her car uh, and left me high and dry along the side of the highway in the middle of the night. And yeah, maybe in the middle of the night, hardly any cars are going by. You're just walking on the side of the highway. You don't know exactly where you are. You got to get off an exit or something like that. Then we could say to leave somebody high and dry or somebody who's in a high and dry position. Okay, and number three here. Uh, in the movie Castaway, it's a little bit of an old movie now, Tom Hanks' character was stuck high and dry. So he could be stuck high and dry somewhere on a deserted island. So an island where there was no people. Remember, uh, the plane uh, crashed and he came down. He was in some sort of an inflatable light boat, lifeboat. And somehow it got to this island where nobody was living. Even in our modern times, he was stuck there for uh three or four years you know according to the story in the movie anyway he was just he was uh really just deserted there or left there high and dry he was yeah he was stuck there high and dry anyway i hope you got it I hope it's clear thank you for your time bye bye